and a woman, woman, woman in every way. Yeah, yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day. Yeah, yeah. Are you in Welcome every to Every Way Woman. woman. There are some major changes happening in the talk show world. Live from Los Angeles, here's Every Way Woman. some major changes happening in the talk show world. I want to talk about it, ladies. Well, yes, there are changes because I think that the producers and the um, um, executive producers and head of networks are just trying to find their place, and they really have lost touch with their audience. That's what I think that's happening. Why do you so. think they've lost touch, Madison? Um, I think they're a little bit too focused on um, a younger, richer socioeconomic class that doesn't really exist except for in a very small percentage. Well, it exists on, you know, the real teenagers of Beverly Hills, <laughs> but that was not how I grew up in Grand Rapids. Right, no, it isn't. Exactly. And you're right, reality TV, in its way, has wreaked havoc on our household and on our, on our women. And also, I don't think, personally, that the producers are willing to take a risk. The risk. This is a conversation we've had mm -hmm. among ourselves, and we talk about other shows and why some make it and some don't. And I always go back to the Katie Couric show because it's such a, what a great opportunity for America's sweetheart. I to, loved her. I know, I right? Her. But she did not take advantage of what she had to offer older women. Right. And she could have, she had a built-in audience that she mm -hmm. didn't go after. And well, that's because that she had this formula that everybody else has been using it yeah, doesn't work. It, the risk taking and, and not taking a risk and mm -hmm. that at Every Way Woman, we mm -hmm. want to take a risk because there's so many other women out there. Right. And the risk that we want to take is we want to reach out to real women. Mm -hmm. Do you relate to anything right now? I do because at the same time, a lot of the times when the show's out there, they look into ratings. So when they pick somebody, they pick them usually because they're popular, mm -hmm. but at the same time, do they bring ratings? So that's how they end up. You Do you know, feel like they're ever considering go. you, Anna, as a Latina, you know, you're in your 30s. Do you feel like you're ever being considered you, by these producers? No, actually, no. I'm, I'm happy to be a part of this because mm -hmm. you don't see a lot of Latinos, Latinas out there, you know, um, in the industry of, mm -hmm. as in talk shows. You right. Know? I would love to see that. I think they're going after the Latino market, but I think they're going after it for the wrong reason, what you mm -hmm. said, for ratings. I don't think they're really putting a lot of consideration into who they're casting to be. Right, and who is actually connecting with them and who is actually watching them. And I don't know if they're representing the culture as well that comes behind it. And it's not just the strict culture from where it comes from, but how that is melted into what's the culture now. But I think you see it a lot in the Spanish, in the Spanish mm -hmm. channels. Have, do you really see Latinos really out there unless it's a, like a sitcom or something? Right. Yes. Talk and that's why when uh, Madison mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. thought about creating Every Way Woman, we, I think one of the real reason, one of the main sticking points was that we wanted a show that other people can relate to mm -hmm. and didn't feel like, well, I'm just a consolation viewer. I have no choice. Madison, and what was stuff that like that. for you? What, what sparked um, Every Way Woman? For me, it was um, getting into touch with being domestic. Because before getting married, I was not really a domestic kind of woman. I was out. I was just living free. I didn't care where my underwear ended up. And I mean just on the floor. She what I mean is on the floor, if it ended up on the floor. You know, after getting married, that putting clothes on the floor was not OK Whoa. anymore. All of a sudden, I needed to know how to do a lot of things that I didn't do before. So um, I, remember, I remember a conversation we had. On an almost the same topic. I remember um, Madison and I was like, we want to show that women can like feel like they could do it themselves. And we go back to your wedding cake. Oh and I gosh, remember you telling me about your wedding right. cake. Wait, Martha no, Stewart. Us about okay. your yes. I watched Martha Stewart. Yes. She was like middle class, forever mom type of woman, right? Mm -hmm. So I looked up to her because she was the only one out there that she I was could. The queen of she it. was the closest person that I could relate to. And I'm, I'm half Korean. Okay, so I she she put out a book of wedding cakes that said that I can make a wedding cake, and I thought, okay, my my husband to be is super picky. He wants to have this special fondant icing, and Martha Stewart says I can do it. So all right, Martha Stewart, it. I'm gonna do it. My wedding night, 
Okay, my wedding you night. You did on your wedding night. At 4 a.m. in the morning, I am rolling out this dough. Sondin, are you, you kidding me? No, I had no That's idea. Hard. Nowhere in the book did it say That's you need hard. a spatula the size of a, a dining table and, and in order to lift you know, this frosting up and put it on a cake. Madison, you are crazy. <laughs> like, I mean, no but, stopped But that first. was who I was relating to because she was the only one out there. And I that's was so point. frustrated because that's not part of who I am. But I was trying to be somebody I wasn't. But it was actually kind of the building blocks of everyone. Yeah. We were talking about, okay, they're doing stuff that's not real. And real women are trying to do it. Yes. And they can't do it. And right. they're so frustrated. And they were right? so yes. frustrated. Yes. And do you know at Ralph's, I asked what a truffle was. And they sent me to the chocolate section, which I went to. But there's a, a, a nut called a truffle, and you don't shave that. You on want a truffle oil? Yes, I, I shave chocolate <laughs> truffles into my shrimp dish, my 15-minute shrimp dish. Are you kidding me? Because I didn't know that but, they, it was. And that's uh, really what the show is about, because we wanted to educate <laughs> people, have fun, yeah. and at the same time, because a lot of people didn't know anything, and we were both what saying. What was we, that point for you? We, we were, it was just that conversation. We both real, I realized, yes. Madison realized, we needed this information to be mm -hmm. in one spot. And, it, and it, like, it, like balancing a checkbook. I remember yes. going to Yolanda, but I don't understand yes. why at the end of the month I'm getting bounced here and there and everywhere. Yes. And Yolanda looked at me and went, but that's the problem. Yeah. Nobody ever taught us how to do No these one things. teaches this stuff. And sometimes some people can only learn from television, from people in the media. Or, or from our friends. That's from our friends. Or from our coworkers. Yes. Or from our mothers. And or from you our... know what? YouTube doesn't know it all. I'll tell you that because yeah. I can Google some answers and then I try it and I still, it's not for real. I think it's a beautiful thing being a part of uh, this panel and mm -hmm. a part of the show because the other, just like two days ago, wait, wait, yesterday. I'm yeah, sorry. Yesterday. yesterday. That's okay. I got stopped at Starbucks, you know, paying for my, you know, mocha. And then she just, the girl, she was like in a 26, uh, Caucasian. And she, she was just like, Oh my God, like, you know, I can't believe you're here. And she took a picture with me. You, you got know, recognized. I got recognized. That's I know. someone you connected with. And that's who. And because you child. provided something mm -hmm. for her that she wasn't able well, to it, get it, somewhere what else. And you also told you mm -hmm. that I gave, well, she goes, you give me hope. Mm -hmm. and, and honestly, awesome. that's, that's yeah. what made me really speak. And you became real to her. Yes, I, 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 mm -hmm. I think I texted you and I'm like, I almost cried. And I am, every time you say it, I kind of cry because that's the, that was our whole purpose right. of doing the show. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. So, you know. Beyond hope, what are you hoping to leave with the women who are watching, or men that are watching the show? That, you know what, um, don't give up. Mm -hmm. I think the show is about not giving up. And be who you are. Be true to yourself and be who you are. Different women conversations, different opinions, but it's always great. Here on Every Way Woman, stay tuned. Are you in every way woman? Coming up next, more Every Way Woman. Everyone says that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but dinner time is family time. Does that take precedence? Let's find out. Dinner time is family time, but sometimes it's a lost art. Yolanda, how do you feel about this? You know, to me, dinner is the most important time of the day because it's the one time that the entire family really have an opportunity to be together. You know, breakfast, you're rushing. You can have lunch at school or at work. Yeah, except for unless you live in a two-income household. Because um, I know for me, a din dinner time was very important, but it didn't work for me because when I was at home, my husband was at work. Yeah, and, and that's the struggle mm -hmm. to, to so have those you would moments. Eat, would you eat with your kids or did you wait for your husband? I, I know I'd eat with my kids because I, I wouldn't see him until four in the morning and sometimes not the next day. Well, for me, it's different. I'm single, don't have a family, so. Mm -hmm. So what is dinner I, time for you? Front of a TV. <laughs> no. of, but they're on the road. On the road. And I, and I understand because I, I, I'm single as well. But then sometimes you know they even I say. I take myself out. But, but I, of course. But I, I do agree that dinner time is one of the most important times. That it is family time, and that it is a time that should be honored. Because I would change things. Like I have some of the best conversations with my kids over dinner. But how yes. do you instigate that? Because even the children now are sitting at the tables with their iPads. Some of them even oh. have iPhones. Uh, in your house, maybe. <laughs> you know, not in my house. I don't have the kids, but you know, I, I have friends who will sit their children down in front of their iPad. They know, but they're un they're being unconscious. And also, the parents don't realize that that is such valuable time. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a lesson of teaching. It's an opportunity to see what's going on in their day. How is their school? And that's what you find out about your kids through their conversations mm -hmm. and things like that. So it's a lost art. Yes. Because for some reason, we think 
hey, we don't have to have a little bit of old fashioned values, but those old fashioned values is what shape us. And plus, so then some of your best you memories. Were, you were raised with yes. these old fashioned values. Yes. But then, I was too. But then some of your best was, memory, Anna, come I, from around the. I hold them boom. right here because I remember, uh, you know. Anniversaries. Mm -hmm. Our family used to actually celebrate it, include us, give us presents. My mom would do this whole thing of even menus on the dinner <laughs> table. I oh, remember I up, I, we didn't have dinner time. And that was because oh. of two working parents. And so dinner time quite often for me was um, we go get our own bowl of rice. And I learned how to cook hot dogs when I was like four. <laughs> so oh. that was dinner time for me. And I, I think that was something that I longed for and I missed growing up was having that connection. When I went to family's houses and they had mm -hmm. dinner time, I looked around and went, Wow, I'm really lonely at home. My family really made a point to have a Sunday family dinner, but if that included a pot roast, I had other plans. I mean, still to this day, my mom makes pot roast. I'm not there you for dinner. Like pot Love roast. you, mom. But it, it's just so funny. And she always thought that was a good mom goal to serve a roast and have this family dinner Aww. and this family time and we uh -huh. you know, dedicate Sundays to that. And even now, as a single woman, I try and you know, open my doors on a Sunday and you know anybody can come over and I'll cook for you yeah. and we'll have, we'll have dinner because... I want to include that in my life it's and have that community. Did you mention like Sunday? Because I don't know if you know this about um, black people. Like Friday is fish and spaghetti night. I mean, <laughs> fish you can't. Yes. 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 Fried fish <laughs> really? and spaghetti. And you cannot go to a single place. It's not too many black homes you can go to on a Friday. They did not serve you eat fish. fried fish on spaghetti. Yeah. yeah. No, fish. <laughs> And spaghetti. And spaghetti. Okay. So not, not on it. Like not on it. And waffles, yes. maybe. But, I, I, I just, but we, they, they do have that. Today. You can get chicken and waffles now. Yeah, but you, they, we had designated days where we, you knew what you were having for that dinner. You know, and it was every week. So, our, it was so our director, she always tells me this story about her mom, how Tuesday was a bad day. And every, every Tuesday growing up was pizza night. I mean, they just, you know, they knew that this is how it was going to be done. Well, I have mm -hmm. to tell you, we really didn't eat out growing up. And that's why I have so many memories around dinner time or food in general because I didn't know people ate out on holidays. I did not know this until I got we older. We ate out on Christmas right. Eve. Yeah, over yeah, a town. But yeah. we didn't. I, have I didn't celebrate any holidays. Wait, wait. I, 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 I went in touch for a while and I didn't know that Sunday nights was Chinese night. But really, I, don't, I, I didn't know. I, was like, I don't know if you just heard this. What? Anna didn't celebrate holidays, and I, I think didn't this celebrate is, any holidays. Why? the way I was raised religion wise, but, but oh, I mean, it was, it was a little, you know, it's nothing, um, that's a whole, whole new other segment, but related to eating, it was right after church. Though, that was our going out mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. restaurants and, you yeah. know, you after church it was, no, not of at the all. Other, of the other well, families? How can you be jealous of something you don't really know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now it's a little different. I, I don't, it's, it's another topic. Like but I how say. do you feel though about, like you say you had to go to restaurants and sometime by yourself. You don't feel I bad do, about, but do other people make you feel bad about? I it? do things by myself now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, so I you do think I go have dinner mm -hmm. and uh, go celebrate with my friends on other things. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's still feel, important. I feel like yeah. people do look at me a little funny if I go. I usually sit up at the bar so I don't feel too lonely. So I'm <laughs> the bar to talk. No, they're not looking at you funny. They're hitting on you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so oblivious to that, you guys. I, no, seriously, ladies, I'm, I'm oblivious to that. But I do feel like people look at me like. What's wrong with her? Like, why is that girl? Oh, I'm too busy. Right? Oh, why are you yeah, alone? Yeah, why are you alone? Oh, my God, I hate and, that. And, and, you know, I really get down to myself It's okay to that. be alone with it. I hate and, that. Enjoy your no, meal. Then I, well, then I treat myself to dessert, too. If there I eat alone, I get the appetizer. So, I get the entree. This whole topic just made no, me no, feel lonely. No, no, you got it backwards. You do that on dates. <laughs> I've got you, honey. You have it backwards. You do that on dates. Yeah, you let them <laughs> pay for the dessert. When somebody else pays. When somebody else pays. Yeah, you never pay for dessert. <laughs> Never. <laughs> it's, it's not worth the calories. Well, I do think it is so important that, you know, we do make time for your family, getting to know each other, whether it's over lunch or dinner, dinner time, family time. We'll be right back. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Are you in every way woman? When it comes to fitness, it feels like that we're always starting over. Is that a real thing or is that something that we've put in our minds? Stay tuned and let's find out. We are all trying to get fit, but when it comes to fitness, I always feel like I am starting over. 
what can I do to avoid this person? Work out all the time and be consistent. Okay, well, I'm not you. <laughs> so Madison is the workout queen. If you haven't <laughs> realized from her arms, okay, this girl who is going about. <laughs> well, that exactly. Yeah. Show the guns. Show those guns. About. Yeah, we, we need that. Uh -huh. I was listening to you two in the green room, <laughs> and you were talking about. Um, so what do you do? And Madison's like, oh, I work out 30 minutes a day and stretch and stuff. But it. it it seems like it's a really good idea to work out 30 minutes a day. It's an awesome idea. It is an awesome <laughs> idea. But it's really tough to find that time to work out. Yes. But for me, the tough, I do always feel like I'm starting over, especially if I have to go out of town or if my husband out of town because we are attached. When we, we go to the gym together. We don't work out together, mm -hmm. but we're together. But you're each other's motivation and you're, you're Accountability. You're the exactly. Yes. And when he's not there, I, sometimes I don't eat for days mm -hmm. and wow. I don't work out. Really? Yes, and we both realize that and he does the same thing. <laughs> I, I hope he doesn't go before you. <laughs> but recently, I had to go out of town twice in the last couple of months. And I, you know, I got my backpack and I got my, my resistant bands and I didn't got my DVDs. And, and it I'm, all stays packed. I, yeah, yeah, and <laughs> I don't work out. And you have I'm to in, put it with your underwear. You know what? Because yes. you know you're going to go get underwear uh -huh. no matter what you do on your vacation. You just push it no, back. then you see it every time you look at it and you're like, yeah, not going to happen. And then you feel guilty. It, that's it. And I feel really bad because when I come back home, it takes me more time to start over and that mm -hmm. it but mentally you are, is, you, is you are starting over every time that you don't work out and keep it consistent it's an it's a mental and it's an emotional thing you mm -hmm. have to keep doing it so <laughs> i feel guilty right now just listening to the exercise <laughs> and that you work out too and i'm a drink a, a beer drinker mm -hmm. like you literally got a i <laughs> problem <laughs> no, I don't. Maybe every other day, but every other day. <laughs> That's why it's so hard for me to like, when I focus and you know, I have a gym membership. <laughs> well, use it. And, like, you and use it. I but should start. Not, I'll start tomorrow and, and then the beer. beer. Right, but you can drink the beer and still work out. Well, here's, the carbs yeah. are good for you. No. Carbs is a preferred source of energy okay. if you didn't here's know. Here's my That's problem. Topic. So I will start the workout DVD. I'll lay out my yoga mat, whatever I gotta do. I start working out and I get on the floor and I see how dirty my floors are. <laughs> and then I can't work out because I need but to do and you then I clean for two hours. Okay, but if I you have a swimmer, you, you could turn that into a workout if you want. Just start moving. You could right? do abs. You could put it on your Ooh. feet, push out, pull in, push out, pull in, and then you've got yeah, sections no, at a time. Yeah, no, because then there's laundry to do and dishes but, to be done, and I just I can't do it. Well, I do think this is a real problem, especially for women. If you're a woman like myself. I have to have a plan. If I go to the gym, I have my it's printed out. Mm -hmm. If I don't have yes. that print out, and then if not, I don't have right, my but not only so here's the thing though. Wait. Okay, what I hear is that your expectations and your goals to get your workout in might not be attainable. Mm -hmm. So you make your workout outside of yourself. Now I have two kids, single mom. I work a full time job and then some. And so you're when, making me feel uh, really right. bad about so, myself. But, but what I, because I know it's important, and it's important for my kids too. I want them to know that health is important to me. It's mm -hmm. important to the family. It's important to everybody. I try to make everybody work out, including my mom who hates me. Really? <laughs> oh. She's like, why do I have to? But I got her stretching every night for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I find my workout wherever I can find it. If I'm at the park because the kids want to be at the park, I will play tag with them until I am exhausted. But Yolanda, I, I remember you telling me you find your motivation when you wake up. What is the first thing you see? <laughs> I have a little, um, on my cell phone, I have little messages that I send myself. Mm -hmm. And I can't see them on television. <laughs> but <laughs> it is. You have out of your bed Because right I now. go work out at like between 3.30 and 4.30 a.m. Because I'm a morning person and I don't like a lot of people in the gym. But I have put up a lot of barriers and I said oh if it's not seven o'clock it's past seven I can't go my mm -hmm. whole day is ruined and going back to me not being in control not being organized and then it takes me two or three more days to get back on right. track and I'm restarting and the, again and we'll do that we'll self-sabotage yep. ourselves so that we won't have to work out because Guilty we as see charged. it as work you do you not see it as work well yeah recently <laughs> <laughs> recently with me it's just more like I've been just enjoying myself yeah but you know you Just lost what over 100 pounds 160 pounds 160 mm -hmm. pounds. But pounds. But you, so you cannot but just, i'm still fat but you don't have you're to not work out. you have to work you're out. curvy and, and, and yes. it's not about whether you're fat or skinny or whatever it's about are you healthy it's the beard and that's are true healthy? like in your case people yeah. think that people you don't have concerns yeah people think that oh, you don't need to work out and i'll say that, yes i do need to work out because i want to be healthy i am skinny fat Mm -hmm. I am in the worst shape of my life. Maybe if you look at me, you wouldn't think so, but I know so. Mm -hmm. The doctor knows well, I so. A, I know I need to work Because being skinny out, does not necessarily mean that you're healthy. And that's what we really should focus on, that 
every time we're starting, we're, we need to focus on the health part of fitness yes. instead of the dress size. And yeah, yeah, it's not about size or about weight. It's truly about just maintaining your health. Commitment. Commitment. Don't self-sabotage. We'll be right back with more Every Way Woman. Are you in every way woman? After this commercial break, more Every Way Woman. Are you an Everyway Woman? Everyway Woman is doing everything we can to make sure that we can reach you at home, on your phone, or across the world. Stay with us and continue with the movement. Welcome back to Everyway Woman. So we are taking the conversation beyond the show to the movement. Tell me about this platform, Yolanda. Well, the movement is just an extension of the show. It's things that we cannot get to, plus it gives us an opportunity to reach women around the world. Now, Madison and I, when we were first talking about the show, we first did a segment. We wanted to test this the blender. Magic bullet. Yes, magic bullet, bullet blender. It's been around forever. Yes, it's better now. <laughs> yes, it's better now. And um, we, I got, we pulled it out, we pulled out some recipes, and we made things that it gave us to make. Yes. And it started smoking. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what the movie is about for, like, we are test products, and um, or, like, I remember Madison's like, we should really test these um, magazine fitness, you know, um, you know, workout programs right. and see if they actually work. Mm -hmm. so, or, or recipes, 15 minute deals. When you go to the store and you want to buy something and like there's 10 different lemon poppy seed muffins on the table. Which and, one's the best? Right, which one's the best? Do you spend $2.50 mm -hmm. on one box and then 99 cents on the other? I mean, I, you know what I'll tell you, I'm obsessed with trying and ladies and gentlemen, you can get more information on the movement, of course. The, beauty products okay yes, i yes. want to know which ones work i in mm -hmm. fact i'll put one eye cream on one eye for two weeks and one on the other are you serious is that what oh, absolutely that's, that's <laughs> terrible don't tell my dirty secrets but yeah i'm so serious because i really am invested in the discovery of you know searching yes. for the truth behind these articles mm -hmm. or these products and i we really want to share that with our audience. Yes, our how do we make choices? How do we make smart choices unless you actually try it? And what we've learned, Yolanda and I learned over time, is that some products work really well with one type of skin. I think it's and good. it doesn't work well with another. I, I think mean, it's you're good. a pro at that. Well, yeah, as a I think it's artist. good being on the web because I mean, there's so many. Everybody goes to the web for everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, and not everyone watches television. They use their. And, no. and the other thing mm -hmm. is too is I might go to the web, but I don't have time to go to the web and look at you know, 12 different sites. But we can test it for you. But yeah. we can test everything and the all of that information we want to have in one and, place And not just you. testing products, do it yourself, you know, quick fitness mm -hmm. tip, quick money tips, right. things follow like that. conversations. You yeah. know, let's, let's talk to the guests behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to them after the interview. Let's Right, because the interview face is sometimes different from their who they are off camera. Exactly. And sometimes it can studio. be more interesting. Is, is there going to be edits? Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, believe it or not, we get a chance to talk entertainment. Because, you know, even though we don't celebrate celebrities on this show, you know, people do like celebrities. So it gives yeah. chance us okay. a little bit of gossip. Women, we yes. like to gossip. Right. We, like to we, gossip. Do. We, we like to gossip as well. Exactly. Yeah. So it gives us a chance and opportunity to gossip. But I just like the Always opportunity. Always in a positive way. Mm -hmm. We never trap trash. Mm -hmm. And we do no. No. have a large audience outside our area. We have a lot of women that reach out to us from around yes. the world. Right. China. Yeah. So it's great. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, China. We want you to embrace the show. And we're really excited to go beyond just your living rooms to your computer screens, your iPhones. Check us out at everywaywoman.com. Are you an everyway woman? Everyway Woman gives back to the community. Go to everywaywoman.com to find out how you can match our donations of undergarments for needy kids. Thanks for getting to know Everyway Woman. This has been an Everyway Woman production. I'm an everyday woman, 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 in every way, yeah, yeah. I'm living my life, 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 living day by day, yeah, yeah. Are you an everyway woman? I'm an everyday woman, 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 in every way, yeah, 
Yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day. Yeah, yeah. Are you in every way, woman? Are you in every way, woman? <laughs>